Alrighty, what's up guys? Today I'm here with a new video series. Uh, this one might last longer than my book review series. Although I'm thinking about bringing that one back too, because I'm reading more. And uh, yeah, today we're going to start the new series of trying fruits. Now if you know me, you know that uh, fruits are not my strong suit, nor is stomaching them. Vegetables it's okay because it's always either a mix of like, every single vegetable is either a mix of lettuce and bark, or just like really fucking easy to eat. However, they don't taste good. I mean, vegetables are dog shit, of course, but I can at least stomach them. Fruits, on the other hand, I've never had much luck with. Uh, I was kind of traumatized from a young age. I was six years old and I was visiting California for the first time with my grandfather. And he said he would give me $5 if I ate a raspberry in a restaurant. So I was given the raspberry and I tried to eat it. And it went down. And about three seconds later, it came back up along with a lot of other stuff all over the ground in the restaurant. And from that moment forward, I was kind of afraid to go for fruits, fruits because I know they just have a weird taste and I don't like it. However, lately I've been making some strides in that in 2020. I learned that I really like pomegranates, and I'll eat pomegranates a lot now. And I uh, also learned that I can also stomach apple pie if it's good. Trash apple pie I'm not eating, but good apple pie I'll eat. So yeah, that's essentially my story with fruits. I'm going to try every single fruit I can. So leave your um, suggestions down below which fruit I should do next. Uh, I, like a, I like to try out exotic fruits and stuff because that's just cooler, I think. But I'll do any fruit. And yeah, let's get on to today's episode, which is going to be the uh, dragon fruit here. Let's get a good, just, ooh, yeah, that looks, looks cool, doesn't it? Let's take off the sticker. Go with the dragon fruit first, just because it looks cool, to, well, to be honest. Let's go ahead and cut this baby up. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the dragon fruit. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut it like that. Mm -hmm. This might be a little more difficult to film than I thought. Yeah, okay. Well, here's the dragon fruit. I'll show you what it looks like when it's cut. Alrighty, boys, this is what it looks like it would, when it's cut. So obviously, as you can tell, it's got, it looks really fucking cool, all right? I mean, it looks like it's, um, it looks like it's cookies and cream flavored, to be honest. I don't think it is, but, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we're about to try this baby out. And uh, it's a good thing if I don't throw up. I think that will be the best possible outcome. Or I really like it like pomegranates. Pomegranates are better than, than other fruits because, I don't know, it's just different. They're sweeter and other fruits are just disgusting. But just in case, if I do have to throw up, I'm right next to a sink, so. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, so here's this. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, huh? What the fuck does that smell like? I know that smell. It... We're gonna sit here while I think about this smell. It smells like another fruit. Fuck, I forgot what it smells like though. Fuck, whatever. Let's just eat it. So you, look, look how cool this is though. Like that's fucking cool. I mean, whoever, these things are fucking awesome. Okay, so let's just eat this. By the way, um, one thing, I will never eat a banana just because I hate the flavor. I have one time put a banana in my mouth that was oh, still in a shell or what do you call that, peel? Yeah. Still on the peel, but I would never eat a banana because the taste is just fucking disgusting, all right? Anyway, so let's get back to this. All right, let's see how it is. You know what? 
it's not bad. It's not as bad as I it could be. Because in reality, I could... It could be a lot worse. I thought it'd be sweet. It's not really sweet. It's not, not too cool. But you know, just sort of... It's really watery. And just kind of a not taste... It's not very tasteful, but it's got the fruit taste. You know what the fruit taste is? It's got that. But it's not actually like sweet at all, which I don't really like. And the texture's like too watery for my liking. I I thought it'd be like harder, you know. But this is just kind of bland. Okay. All right, I'm going to be good. All right. I don't know how much of this I could eat without throwing up, but I'll take another bite just because I think I could take more. It's pretty bland. Don't let it on the tongue too long. Mm -mm. Fuck. Whoa. Nope. Okay. I couldn't let it on my tongue any longer because um, I would definitely have thrown up. I know my limits, no yours. Yeah, anyway. And it was not going down the throat. So, dragon fruit, it's kind of planned. It just tastes like a really like baseline fruit, to be honest. But like without, it's not really hard in any way. It's gotta be hard in some way. I feel like that would make a better fruit. Like that's the good thing about pomegranates. It's like the sh the um, seeds, they're hard and soft at the same time. And they kind of burst in your mouth, which is like what I want. But these, you know, this is just too soft, too wet, too bland. So on the scale of one to 10, I'll give these like a four and a half, 4.5, yeah. Yeah, it's a 4.5. Anyway, if you wanna try to dragon fruit for yourself you can i got it mine at whole foods and couldn't really find anywhere else it's like six bucks yeah so with that we'll move on to the next episode just leave your replies down below and i'll see you in the next one peace out